Hey, in the previous video, we showed you the importance of using a timeline so that you will not make mistakes during your exam. So of course, you can't just present a timeline during your O-level. So right now, we're going to show you the work solution to presenting NCA type of questions. So sit back, watch and learn. And don't forget, if you like the video, remember to click like and don't forget to subscribe so that you get the latest updates. Now that we've done all the workings, let's proceed to answer the question. The question says prepare the accumulated depreciation of motor ve vehicles account for the year ended 31st March 15. Let's proceed to draw the account. For every account, the headings are standard. It's always date, particulars, debit, credit, balance. But the title of the account differs according to the question. So in this case, the question says we are to prepare the accumulated depreciation of motor vehicles account. Okay, next we have to ask ourselves what is the nature of the account. For that, let's revisit the double entry. The double entry is to debit depreciation and credit accumulated depreciation. So accumulated depreciation, remember, is a negative asset with a credit nature. So it's good habit if you were to write down that it's a negative asset with a credit nature right on top. Therefore, which is the column that would denote an increase? The column that has the same nature always denotes the increase and the column with the opposite nature denotes the decrease. The question says once again to prepare the account only for the year ended 31st March 15. So that refers to the final year, year number 3. You are not required to prepare the account for the earlier years but the calculation from the first two years will be reflected in the beginning balance of year three. What is the beginning date of the year of the third year? It is actually 2014 April 1st. Okay, we'll begin with a balance brought down. The question says that there is an accumulated balance of 80,000 given in the question. Let's look at the question again. There you go. 1st April, accumulated depreciation balance of 80,000. Okay, so we place it in the balance column. Remember to attach a sign and the sign is credit because the opening balance always follows the nature of the account. Next, what happens within the year? On 30th September, we actually sold A. Alright, so let's update the date to September 30th. Okay, we sold A and we actually reflect that as sale of non-current asset. Now, what figure do we actually place in the columns here? We now have to ask ourselves, what is the accumulated depreciation of the asset that you sold? So let's go back to A. A was the asset that we sold. The accumulated depreciation of A is actually 5,700. So this asset that we are selling, we actually have to remove the accumulated depreciation from the 80,000 balance. Why are we removing? Because we have sold it away. So to remove is actually to deduct. And therefore, we place the 5,700 on the reducing column, the minus column. Because we have sold A, we have to remove the 5,700 from the 80,000. The new balance will then be 74,300. Still a positive credit balance. Okay, so we finished with September 30. All right. Now we can move on to calculating the depreciation for B and C as at the year end 31st March. So the calendar year changes to 2015 now and then we move on to the year end date March 31st. Okay, so bear in mind that this entire 12 month period starts in 2014 and ends in 2015. So I have two calendar years, 14 and 15, but they are all within the same 12 month accounting period. Okay, so how do we uh, record the depreciation for B and C in the question? 
we simply write depreciation of motor vehicles. Okay, so let's add 9,500 and 4,500. That should give us 14,070. Because we've discussed A has no depreciation, all we need to record now is the depreciation for B and C. Okay, so remember the double entry, it says we are to debit depreciation and credit accumulated depreciation. So this 14,070 is going to appear on the credit column of the accumulated depreciation account. So we put 14,070 here. The new balance will now be 88,370 credit. Okay, so we have almost completed the question, just that we need to bring down the balance after the year end to the start of the following year. So the following year is actually the very next day, which is April 1st. And we write balance brought down. What we ended off with is what we will start the next year with. And there you have it. You have now fulfilled the requirement of this five mark question. Thank you for watching through the entire video. If you like the video, remember to click like and don't forget to subscribe so that you can have the latest updates.